Okay, let's do a transient analysis on this example circuit. We have a 15 volt DC source, uh, an 8 ohm resistor, a 4 ohm resistor, and a 0.4 farad capacitor. And our goal is to figure out what the voltage across the capacitor is if at t equals 0, the switch is closed. Okay, our assumption is that the switch has been open for a long time. All right, so let's start with uh, the voltage at uh, voltage across the capacitor at t equals 0 voltage across the capacitor at t equals 0. Now that voltage is equal to 0 volts. The reason for that is at t equals 0, before t equals 0, the switch has been open for a long time. So the capacitor has had no chance to be charged up. So the initial voltage across the capacitor is going to be 0 volts. Now let's figure out what the voltage across the capacitor is with respect to time t. And that's given by voltage across the capacitor in steady state DC, which is the voltage at time equals infinity, plus the difference between the capacitor voltage at zero and the uh, voltage of the capacitor at infinity, times e to the power of minus t over tau. Now, when at t equals zero, we figure out that the voltage across the capacitor initial value is equal to zero. Now, let's figure out what Vc is at infinity. The switch has been open for a long time, so at, so at t equals 0, the switch is closed. And when that happens, if we allow the circuit to run for a long time, it will reach DC steady state, which basically implies that the capacitor is going to act as an open circuit. Uh, and the voltage across VAB is going to be the voltage across the capacitor. And since the capacitor acts as an open, at infinity. Uh, we can calculate this by simply doing a voltage divider which is uh, which is equal to 4 ohms divided by 4 plus 8 times 15 and this is going to be 4 over 12 so 1 third of 15 which is 5 volts. So the initial the voltage DC steady state voltage across the capacitor is 5 volts. Now we have all the things that we need except for tau. So let's figure out what tau is. Tau can be calculated by figuring out what the equivalent resistance is. And that equivalent resistance is the Thevenin resistance seen by this capacitor. To do that, we sort the voltage source. So that makes 8 ohms and 4 ohms in parallel. So we have 8 ohms times 4 divided by 8 plus 4 which is 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 12 which comes out to be 2.667 seconds okay. so that's our uh, that's uh, that, not seconds this is going to be ohms uh, capacitor is 0 0.4 farad hence our tau is then equal to 2.667 2.667 7 times 0 0.4 which give me uh, which gives me 1.1 1 point, 1 point 0.667 seconds so that's tau now all we have to do is plug in the values infinity is 5 plus 0 minus 5 power of minus t over 0, 6, 6, 7 equals, and this can simplify it as 5, 1 minus e to the power of minus t over uh, 4. Okay. Now if I use a circuit simulation software or build a circuit and look at the voltage across the capacitor, what I'll see is something like this. So at time t equals 0 is 0 volts. Slowly it charges up. The maximum voltage at DC steady state is 5 volts. That's exactly what we found. Uh, that's exactly what we found here. That the at infinity it is 5 volts. We found out that the total time is tau is 1.0667. So to go from 0 to about close to about 70%, okay, to about 70% of 
5 volts. So that's 1.066, so it gets to about 3.13 volts. So that's exactly our value of tau. Okay, so this circuit simulation verifies 